But what I know about is Texas. And down here, you're on your own. Hello. Having a good time? Hey, what's it? Your husband. That was a clip from the trailer of Blood Simple. Welcome to Earshot English. I'm Asim Chhabra and I'm bringing to you a show where I will talk about my all-time favorite films. Films I think you all must watch. Before they made the Oscar-winning films Fargo and No Country for Old Men, brothers and filmmakers Joel and Ethan Coen produced and directed their first feature film, a dark, moody, suspenseful indie noir called Blood Simple. The year was 1984. Joel, the older one of the two, was 30 at that time, while Ethan was 27. In Blood Simple, a bar owner Marty hires a detective to investigate his wife Abby's relationship with an employee of his Ray. Abby is played by two-time Oscar-winning actress Frances McDormand, who in real life is married to Joel Cohen and has frequently collaborated with the two brothers. Marty warns Ray about Abby, but it's more because he cannot see another man with his wife. What's funny is if it's not you she's sleeping with, it's someone else. What's really going to be funny is when she gives you that look and says, "I don't know what you're talking about." Eventually, jealousy and insecurity take control of Marty, and he decides to go beyond just investigating the romance between Abby and Ray. He goes back to the detective with a new assignment. I got a job for you. It's not strictly legal. You want me to kill him? With that starts a brutal game of deceit, guns, violence, and so many twists. All the characters are confused about each other's roles. Only we, the audience, know how the plot as it plays out. So often you want to hold a character and tell her or him how the film is unfolding, but of course we can't do that. And that is what makes Blood Simple one of Hollywood's smartest film noirs. In 1984, technology was not so advanced, and there was no digital work being done in film. Yet the Coens managed an amazing sound design, which truly enriches the film's atmosphere. We startled by the sounds of gunshot, car tires on a dirt road, and digging a grave in a farmland. Add to that, the film has a powerful soundtrack by Carter Burwell, often adding to the tension. My favorite is a soothing piano piece called Blood Simple that appears a few times in the film, weaving the narrative. Blood Simple is a perfect film and is also very entertaining. This is Asim Chhabra signing out. Keep listening to Earshot English.